Hi, I'm Clay Carlino, and I'm still not done with all the stuff that I have to do to my car. My car has needed a lot of work lately, and the next thing on the list, brake lines. This past spring, I welded up a spiffy new cat back exhaust with a two and a quarter inch diameter rather than the original one and three quarters. While I was working on the exhaust, I noticed this. My brake lines look like crap. Look at that. I mean, that's bad. I'm going to spray all the connection points with some PB Blaster. The uh, brake lines on the bottom are the two that go to the back. I was kind of hoping that it was just going to be one and it goes to a T, but nope, I'm not that lucky. I'm also going to spray all the bolts holding on the retainers. I'm going to take this off just to have a little bit more room to work around. I'm going to take off the air intake. <sighs> Holy crap, I might have gotten it to break free. that out of the way. For some reason, the fitting on this side takes a 14 millimeter wrench. The fitting on this side, a 12. Why? I have no idea. Uh, if I can just get that line out of the way. Ah, there. And then take this. And, oh yeah, that just screws right in. Let's see if this one will cooperate as well as the other ones. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think I was going to get that lucky. I've got a strategy for this. And you're going to hate it. I cut the brake line. <sighs> there we go. There are wrenches for this that have a little gap right here so that you can get around the brake line. I don't have those. There's nothing stronger than a nice enclosed box end wrench for something like this. <coughs> I'm freaking amazed that that worked. These things are from Harbor Freight. They're kind of amazing. Now you see it. And now you don't. Oh, it's perfect. The next thing that I need to do is attack these retainers that are holding all of the brake lines in place. It's a uh, 10 millimeter nut. Is that turning? No. It's breaking. This is so rusted that it doesn't thread off. It just sort of spins in place there. There we go. Let's see what happens with this one. As if we have to ask. Huh. Well. That's, um, uh, <laughs> predictable. Let's see how they go. I see, said the man as he spit into the fan, and it's all coming back to me now. There's another retainer right here. And once again, it's just spinning. I'm going to take this thing off. That's how it's done. Hey, one of them just came off like a normal thing. How about that? There's another connector. I'm going to see if I can reach it through the wheel well here. I just have to take off this body panel retainer. There we go.
There it is. That's the thing. This is actually kind of cool. I can't see this at all, but I've got the camera in here and I'm able to use the viewfinder. This is the first time that making these videos has actually made this process easier. Now, I start trying to pull out the old brake line. Oh, okay. This is actually really telling. Take a look at this. All I did was start messing with it and uh, this just snapped. I can't believe I was driving around on that. There we go. There's one. There we go. It's two. There they are. There are the brake lines out of the car. So, that is how I got the rear brake lines out of my car. Yay! I'm tired. I'm gonna get some pizza. Pizza good.